Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. In the previous lesson, we focused on VLSM Summarization and Troubleshooting TCP IP. In this lesson, we will look into Cisco's Internetworking Operating System. Let us begin with the objectives of this lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe the basic Cisco Internetwork Operating System commands. Explain the operation status of an Ethernet interface. Describe the basic network device security features. Let us discuss the Cisco IOS in the next slide. The heart of the IOS is Privileged Exec Mode. The Privileged Exec Mode allows the device configuration to be viewed or changed. Use the Enable command to enter Privileged Exec Mode. The prompt for privileged exec mode is hostname pound sign. Enter the disable command to return to the user mode. The prompt will change back to the user exec prompt as shown in the slide. An enable password can be configured to protect access to privileged exec mode. Note there is a choice between encryption and no encryption. The enable secret password overrides the enable password if both are configured. Let us look into configuration mode in the next slide. The configuration that is active and stored in RAM is called the running configuration. The configuration that has been saved in NVRAM and will be loaded at the next boot is called the startup configuration. As configuration commands are entered, they become part of the running configuration. The only way to apply them, also to the startup configuration, is to copy the running configuration to the startup configuration. In some older iOS versions and other Cisco devices, the write erase command accomplishes this task. Take some time to review the commands on the slide. The show commands on the slide show the passwords entered in plain text. If any printed version of configurations are kept, they will show the passwords. In addition, someone looking over your shoulder when you are reviewing configuration on screen will see the passwords. Therefore, it is a good idea to encrypt the passwords for display purposes only with the Service Password Encryption command. Let us learn more about how this command works in the following slide. Passwords can be configured to protect access to the device for various purposes. Different passwords can be used for each purpose. Password protection for privileged exec mode is provided on the slide. In addition, password protect access to the console line and the VTY lines used for Telnet or SSH access to the device is displayed in the table. Take some time to review the configurations in the slide. 